Welcome to Cox Local Edition on CNN Headline News. I'm Catherine Falk with Cox Communications. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're so pleased to have our friend Jack Dale, the superintendent of schools for Fairfax County with us. Thanks for being here. Oh, absolutely. Thanks so much. Um, when we last talked, there was a great deal of concern about the budget outlook right. for the Fairfax County Public Schools and Fairfax County. Tell us how things came out with that. Well, what was really interesting is in the, uh, I want to say, not 11th hour or close to it, the state legislature decided to make a change in the mandatory rate of contribution into, into the Virginia retirement system. All school systems, in fact, all state agencies have to contribute for their employees. And uh, even though the uh, retirement system had lost a, a fair amount of money, as most have across the nation, uh, the legislature elected to lower the rate of contribution and thereby saving us, in our case, probably close to $120, $130 million in our budget. So that helped us from not having to make cuts. So just by not having to contribute to the retirement system, we're able to maintain class size. It's still up over the last two years, but we didn't have to make that any worse. Uh, we don't have to cut uh, back on full-day kindergarten. We don't have to cut back on strings and bands. So all of those programs in the school will remain, but it's basically because the retirement system contribution rate decreases for us and saves us uh, a fair amount of money. Now, the interesting thing to go a little further is that two years from now, we are supposed to begin paying back that deficit at about a 7.5% interest rate. So two years from now, we'll face a huge uh, funding issue, if you will, to begin that payback. But hopefully the economy will have improved and I, the know, outlook will be better. Yeah, and I think that's probably the, uh, you know, the, the rationale behind it. They also changed some retirement uh, eligibility provisions for future hires. So anybody hired after July 1st will have a different set of requirements to be eligible for, for full retirement than current employees, which will help the uh, retirement system funding. But interesting way to resolve an issue. It's, yeah. uh, it was like not thought of in the whole process, but that's what happened with the the Senate, the House, and the Governor all signed off on. Great. So the bottom line is all those programs people, yeah. parents were really concerned about will stay. Yeah. Now, and what gets missed in all of this mix is we are still cutting, oh, probably about 170, 80 positions. Uh, they tend to be more in the central office, 100 of them from the, ma the core central office, uh, and then some custodial positions as well are, are being eliminated, and then a few s a smaller number of teaching positions. So. Great. Um, how about we had a big winter this year. Are uh, kids going to have to make up all those days and stay until like July? Yeah, well, <laughs> our calendar uh, had hoped to end the year on uh, Thursday, and that's in fact what happened because the State Board of Education waived the requirement to make up any more days. What happens after five snow days is we have to make up every other one, and we tried to, and one of those got snowed out. One of our makeup days was like President's Day and got snowed out, so we couldn't make it up then. And the, uh, the final one we were going to have to do is going to be on Friday, but then the state said, no, you can stick with your original calendar. So it's still a, a late time in June. Great. Um, I know that you're working with a coalition of community groups that are focusing as the prom season comes ar around on right. teenage drinking and those issues. Tell us about that. Yeah, it's really a county-wide initiative. The county government, the Board of Supervisors, has its initiative for uh, uh, going after underage drinking and the, and the perils of that. And especially when you get around prom season, graduation season, some of our high school juniors and seniors uh, may make some uh, not wise decisions, and so we're trying to prevent that. And every year we uh, end up usually having to lose some kids because they're making some bad decisions, so we're trying to prevent that right now with a campaign and really driven at the parents. Don't supply your kids and don't host parties. Be responsible parents. Great. Jack Dale, Superintendent of Fairfax County Public Schools, thanks for joining us. Thanks. And thank you for joining us on Cox Local Edition on CNN Headline News. Have a great day.